Have you ever wondered about the history and future of plastics? Where did they come from and where are they going? Let's take a journey back to the year 1869. A man named John Wesley Hyatt invented the first synthetic polymer, a game changer in the world of materials. The context? A New York firm had offered a hefty $10,000 to anyone who could find a substitute for ivory, the demand for which was leading to the slaughter of wild elephants. Hyatt's solution was ingenious. He treated celluloid derived from cotton fiber with camphor, creating a plastic that could be molded into a variety of shapes and imitate natural substances like tortoiseshell, horn, linen, and ivory. This marked a revolutionary moment. For the first time, manufacturing was not constrained by the limits of nature. So Hyatt's invention was a game changer, but it was just the beginning of the plastics revolution. Following the invention of celluloid, the development of new plastics took a significant turn. The year was 1907. A brilliant mind named Leo Bakelin was on a mission to find a synthetic substitute for shellac, a natural electrical insulator. The rapidly electrifying United States was in dire need of such a material. Little did Bakelin know, his invention was about to change the world. What Bakelin invented was Bakelite, the first fully synthetic plastic. Unlike celluloid, Bakelite contained no molecules found in nature. It was not just a good insulator, it was a game changer. Durable, heat resistant, and ideally suited for mechanical mass production, Bakelite was a marvel of its time. Marketed as the material of a thousand uses, Bakelite could be molded into almost anything, thus providing endless possibilities. This was far from just another invention, it was a revolution. Bakelite set the stage for a new era in the world of materials. For the first time, we had a material that was not only versatile, but also synthetic. It was a testament to human ingenuity, our ability to create and innovate, to find solutions to pressing problems. The success of Bakelite did not go unnoticed. Major chemical companies saw the potential of these synthetic materials. They began to invest heavily in the research and development of new polymers. This was the beginning of a new era, an era where synthetic polymers would rule, an era where plastics would become the backbone of modern society. The world of plastics was no longer the same. New materials were being invented. New uses were being discovered. From being used in the rapidly electrifying United States to becoming a ubiquitous part of our everyday lives, plastics had come a long way. All thanks to the invention of Bakelite, the first fully synthetic plastic. The invention of Bakelite opened the doors to a new world of endless possibilities. So we've seen the birth and development of plastics, but what about the future? As we move forward in the 21st century, the narrative of plastics is shifting. Once hailed as a technological marvel, plastics are now scrutinized for their environmental impact. This scrutiny is driving a new wave of innovation in the field of plastics, as scientists and engineers strive to create sustainable and biodegradable alternatives. In recent decades, we've seen the emergence of bioplastics. These are made from renewable resources such as plant-based materials, and they are designed to be more environmentally friendly. However, not all bioplastics are created equal. Some still take a long time to degrade, while others require specific conditions to break down. The quest for the perfect bioplastic, one that is both functional and eco-friendly, continues. Researchers around the globe are experimenting with novel materials. From plastics made from algae to those that can be consumed by microbes once discarded, these new age plastics hold the promise of a sustainable future. In addition to biodegradability, another area of focus is recyclability. The vast majority of plastics used today are not recycled. To address this, scientists are developing new types of plastic that are easier to recycle, aiming for a circular economy where plastic waste is minimized. But the future of plastics isn't just about the materials themselves, it's also about how we use and dispose of them. Education and policy changes are crucial to reducing our reliance on single-use plastics and ensuring that plastic waste is properly managed. The history of plastics is a story of human ingenuity. From the invention of celluloid to the development of Bakelite, we've seen how these materials have transformed our world. Now, as we grapple with the environmental challenges posed by plastic waste, that same spirit of innovation is driving the search for sustainable alternatives. The history of plastics is a story of innovation and adaptation. As we look to the future, 
The question remains, what new chapters will we add to this fascinating tale?